So here's 3D printing. I just want to take a moment to talk about it. Through 3D printing, students learn how to create first and then analyze later. Think about the flipped blooms model that we talked about earlier in the course. This is an image of some of the things that I created with a 3D printer. Most were designed by me. Others were from websites like Thingiverse, where you can download free models and have them printed out on any printer. The design process takes time. It requires a basic understanding of English, but is very rewarding. For example, I heard a story from a teacher about another L student who was struggling using English in the classroom. The student heard about 3D printing and wanted to learn more. Because of his desire to learn, he began speaking English to try to understand the process. I just want to note that it doesn't take 3D printing to make this happen. You just have to expose students to the multiple concepts, topics, and things, and technologies to see if you can find the one thing that makes them get excited about learning. Once they're excited, they'll want to start talking about it. Here's a trebuchet I designed with a colleague and used to help present to students how medieval technology worked. I also designed and printed a larger catapult which could throw a dime actually 40 feet. This was always good at getting students to talk about history and 3D printing. I'm going to show a video of a teacher who 3D printed syllables for students to practice creating words using the printed objects. You can do this with English words too. ¿Qué dice? Gata. Muy bien. Gata. Escriban la palabra gata. Este So before I move on, the next video shows another 3D printer which doesn't require a big device. Instead, it's a pen that allows students to create what they see in their mind as a 3D object. Consider how this could help elves express themselves using this tool. When we first launched the 3 Doodler, we asked the world to imagine a pen that could literally draw in the air. Two years on, We've made the world's first 3D printing pen even better with a new and improved version that's slimmer, lighter, quieter, and even easier to use. The 3 Doodler heats, then rapidly cools plastic, allowing instant 3D creation. And with no software or computers, the possibilities are limited only by your imagination. We've shipped over 130,000 first-generation 3 Doodlers and our community has used them to create amazing things, from jewelry to RC planes, fully three-doodled dresses, architectural models, and even writing braille. It was because of the support of this Kickstarter community that we were able to make the three-doodler dream a reality. To say thank you, we've decided to bring three-doodler 2.0 to you first. Completely redesigned from top to bottom, and housed in a sleek aluminum casing. The new 3Doodler is the result of over two years of research and development, all aimed at giving you the best 3Doodling experience possible. The new 3Doodler is also packed with loads of enhancements, making it smoother, sleeker, and easier to use than ever before. We're also releasing exciting new accessories, including the Jetpack, a portable power pack that gives you the freedom to 3Doodle on the go. To help kickstart creativity in the classroom, we've created a special educational bundle, complete with pens, plastic, accessories, and curricular materials, which you can send to any school, library, or makerspace of your choosing. If you can draw, write, or wave a finger in the air, you can create with the 3Doodler. Our community website has hundreds of projects and stencils that you can download for free and it's filled with how-to videos and images of inspiring creations from around the world. So, when will you get your new 3Doodler? We'll start delivering to our first backers in a few weeks, and the majority of you will be 3Doodling by April. We can't thank you enough for joining us on this amazing journey.
and I included in this presentation a link to a, a teacher who shared her success and frustration of using 3D printing in the classroom. She had students, including elves, write about their ideas, the challenges, and how they over overcame those challenges during the 3D printing process. Remember, you can click on this link in the original presentation link to, in the course.